Badoom, I need to turn on my laptop so that I can probably see a chat going on. Because that might be a good idea. Let's see, YouTube, TFAD, no, it's old Badoom, that's the one. That's the channel. Oh, we got no viewers. Fantastic. Uh, welcome to a late night live stream. I'm going to mute this. Uh, where we're gonna be doing stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be building the set. Uh, if you guys don't like that, then whatever. Uh, we're probably not gonna have any viewers, but you know what? I feel like talking about stuff and, and doing this, so we are going to do it anyways. Now, let me go get my scissors, because I forgot all about that. Of course, my kitty cat wants attention. And I just realized that that one view is probably me. Although that wouldn't make sense because I just got a like and I wouldn't have liked my own content because I don't like my own content. Anyways, we're going to be building the Hot Wheels Mega Constructs GT Hunter and Tiger Shark Monster Truck. These are uh, pretty interesting sets. So I've already built one of the Hot Wheels cars. I built this... Uh, I can't remember what the name is. I should probably remember the name. Uh, it's one of my favorite cars of Hot Wheels in the past couple of years, so I don't know why I don't remember the name. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to be, uh, be building these. Apparently the monster truck can work with the smaller cars, so uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. The first one I'm going to be opening and building is going to be the GT Hunter. So let's go ahead and get that started. We're going to cut the tape. We're going to cut it downwards like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not, because it's uh, not like I go to sleep or do anything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't worry, I'll try to make these quick builds. Um, you know, I've already built one of these. Which, by the way, I need to bring up. So, in the last time, Hello Noble 6 Originals, uh, in the last build, I didn't think that this could actually plug into the car. I don't know why it's all dusty, it's kind of weird but anyways I didn't think that the minifigures could plug into the cars um I was wrong and stupid and dumb uh but now I'm wrong stupid and dumb but I figured it out anyways let's go ahead and mess up which by the way the boxes can also be used as little tracks for the cars it's a uh, kind of a silly little gimmick but you can do that so this opens up like so and you pull out the instructions and the, all the parts and then you open this up from the other side, and this somehow can be used as a track. And I think all you need to do is open this up like so. Uh, open this up, and then this is supposed to do something here. And I don't remember what it is necessarily. Maybe the instructions have, well, instructions for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, the sides here are supposed to fold down like so. And then you open these sides up like that. And you do the same to the other side. Actually, I think you're supposed to fold them down, because that makes a little more sense, but whatever. Whole point is to get those out of the way. And then once you have it like so, you bring these. These will hook into the bottom here like so. And there you have a little, not really a, a good track, but you're supposed to put the car into the back and it's supposed to slide down and roll. Pretty simple thing, but hey, it's uh, something. So anyways, there's the instructions to the GT Hunter and here are the bags. We get one bag, we get two bags. Uh, the minifigure is already pre-built. So let's go ahead and open the bag of parts. And again, if you guys want to go, you know, you you don't have to stay if you don't want to. I know it's late, I know I don't get too many viewers, and I know you all hate me. So, it, it, you know, it's perfectly fine. I, res I respect that. I respect your opinion. Yes, I will lower the camera. There we go. I respect your opinion, even though I don't believe in it, and uh, I cry about it every day. There we go. And there's one bag, there is the base, and there is two and three bags. So there's multiple bags in this. Actually, what I'm going to do is, even though this is open, I could probably just fold this in. 
and keep it like that so we have some sort of background. I'm here for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so. Uh, we gotta do more. We gotta open up this bag of the windscreen and minifigure. So, how's it going, everyone? How was your day? Ooh, I like the minifigure. It looks like, um... Uh, that Daredevil guy who died. How fun. And there's a printed piece inside with a... Ha! <laughs> 69! Oh, wait. 96! Right, let's see. Let's get the tires out. Um... I need someone to chat with, so it's perfect for me. Ah, okay. Good. That was my plan all along. <laughs> Some more silver bits. Uh, this set has 106 parts. The other set has 187 parts. So there's more in the big one, if you didn't notice. Um, but I do think it's cool that you can pretty much just swap the entire tire frame. Entire tire frame. And you can get this. Uh, by the way, pretty much the same printed pieces in this bag, but it's on the opposite side. Like, you can see here, the print is closer to one side. On the other side, or on the other uh, bag, it's closer to the other one. So, that's kind of confusing, but whatever. Uh, when you own, like, several of each infinite sets uh, to show... Uh... But no one to show pictures of your collection too. Uh, that's why I like that domain Facebook group that I'm in, and a mod too. Um, so yeah, there's all the parts. Lots of gray. I did actually see the car that it's inspired by. Now I don't have every Hot Wheels car in existence. I had the one that I just showed, the green one, but I don't have the gray. Um, I would love to do a comparison between the Hot Wheels car and the actual build. Uh, what is your favorite Halo Infinite set? Uh, probably the Pelican. I, I love that thing. I know, it's, it's kind of sad that, you know, the most expensive one is, is, is my favorite. But you know what? It, it really is a good build, so I can't really complain too much about it. Uh, these instructions are not flat and are moving around so much. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Okay, this goes in the middle, and these will be where you attach the wheels, but we can't do that now. The only ones I'll get is the green ones, and I believe there's two. I already have one. Um, that reminds me. God, I would love more of the Halo Infinite bags. I know that Series 3 has the Cyan Elite. I want that. I want that green Fred figure, and I want the Marine because I've collected pretty much every single Marine so far. But my stores do not sell any of the mystery packs. Also, I skipped the page. Um, yeah, my stores don't sell any of the mystery packs. I've been to Toys R Us. I've been to Walmart. I've been to pretty much any store that would sell them. But nothing sells them around here. So I am out of luck on that. I've collected every infinite set but... Uh, let's see. Um. Evil Knievel. Yes, yes, yes. Evil Knievel. I don't know why I forgot his name. Oh, God. You know what? Um, just give me a sec, because the name of the car is going to bother me. Mega Constructs. Green. Hot. Wheels. Muscle bound. That's what it was. I, I thought it started with a T. No, it's muscle bound. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this is GT Racer. Now, I saw an image of GT Racer. And for the most part, it, it pretty much nails it. Except for the front section, which I think it uh, definitely fell off the face of the earth on that one. Uh, but I will say is this. Some of the later ones they've got is much better. Um, and I will say that some of these were uh, better than, like, the really early ones. Because, ugh, those were weird. Um, but some of the newer ones look pretty good. Uh, there's, um... Uh... Ratified? No, not Ratified. What's the name of the car? I'm usually better with these names. I don't know why I'm sucking right now. 
Uh, Aristorat. That's what it is. Bill's version, and they actually look, uh, speed champions. Okay, uh, for some reason, the, the whole screen just went off. I just want the Jackal Elite Ultra and the ship build a figure from the Infinite Series 2 bags. Yeah, I want those too. Uh, I'm a little confused. Oh, okay. I'm wondering why, um, basically you do this on top of this. So you basically repeat the same build. I was thinking, oh, do we... Did I skip a page, or do we have to do that all over again? No, it's just for the back. Uh, let's see. Okay, so two, three long plates. I don't know why these instructions are flipping around. It's really bothering me. And then these, whatever you want to call them, you know. So, any important news going around? There's been a lot of trailers from Marvel. So that's pretty cool. Of course, I built this wrong because I'm stupid. I'm very interested in the what if. I feel like with what if, it's all going to interconnect to one bigger story. And I know about the whole Loki thing. I've, I've watched Loki, so, you know, I've kept up to date with that. Okay, so it's this piece, this tampo piece that we have to use next. Um, but I feel like there's, like, why do I say like so many times? A bigger story than just what we know. Hello, all bricks count. Oh, and the red helmet. Series 14, Halo Heroes, and Series 3. Yeah, there's a lot of the Halo figures that I, I just, I really want, but I have not been able to find. Do you already own the Gen Selects deep cover figure already? Yes, I do. I really like that figure. Uh, let's see. Rick. House. Uh, if you ever want to see what I got, I do have a snups page, and it shows everything that I got. So. Yeah. And it's all organized, too. So. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, you're on snups, aren't you? Now we got a... Now we got a little suit over here. You get a seat off the table. All right. So next, it seems like we're building this side, even though I've already caught up to that, my mistake. But whatever, not really a big deal. And then there's the sixty-nine. Oh, sorry, ninety-six. There we go. I thought this would be a duller gray, but no, it's actually a not, not a proper silver, but whatever. I was ask. I asked because I was going to get you the Netflix version. Yeah, the Netflix version does look pretty cool, but I don't know if I need it. Need it? I've thought about it, though. I will say that. I've thought about it. My brain was like, hey, maybe. Because for a while I was thinking, ah, do I want to get every single one of the Sideswipe molds? And then they just repainted it every Sideswipe repaint. Like, oh, there's two Red Alerts, there's two Sideswipes. It's like, ugh, I don't, I don't need two Sideswipes and... Two red alerts, especially when they're pretty much the same. Uh, let's see. That goes right there. And we have um, that. It looks like a hammerhead shark. Just missing all the personality. Alright, so we take these and we have to put these between here. And then... Let's see, we got a gray 2x1, there we go, found it, and that goes right here, and then another one of those big, whatever you want to call them, there we go. Oh, and this is uh, different between this, because the pegs go down on this, and then they're just flat on this, so, oops, that reminds me I should check my Walgreens for the red alert, should add your snups as a pin title or something, eh. The snubs is mostly on um, the Transformers side, though. Uh, I, I do have some Lego, but it's not a lot on there. It's not even everything that I own. And uh, it was more interconnected with them. Because uh, when I started on snubs, I was actually contacted by them to do a, a snubs page. 
because they paid me for it. It was a paid advertisement, and I'm not sure if I did a good job at all. And then they linked me to one of the guys that they also helped sponsor, and I was like, uh, who the hell is this guy? And then, years later, I come across his channel, not knowing that, oh, it's the same guy. My views are constantly fluctuating. It'll go from one to two to five to two. Oh, here's another thing I wanted to talk about. So, apparently I'm not supposed to review Halo sets. And it's not from some guy that's like, oh, you're supposed to review Bionicle or something like that. Because your, your channel's all Bionicle. No, this was some guy that told me I wasn't, uh, or it was kind of ridiculous to review Halo stuff, or a, a certain Halo set that came out years ago, because Jang Bricks already did it, and the Domain did it already, and, and um, Demarcations Reviews did it already, and it's like, that's not the point of me doing the review. Um, and then he was like, well, you're not going to get that many views, at least uh, 100 views, which the video that he was talking about had more than 100 views, uh, way more than 100 views, so that's kind of funny. But, again, I was like, that's not the point. The point is, I want to review something, so I reviewed it. Oh my god, a 2x5 plate? I'm sorry, I know that's weird, but I've never seen such a thing. Right now, it's looking like a truck. That is, that is weird to me. That, that is, that's, that's foreign. Okay, uh, let's see. There we go. And then we've got these, I think. Yeah, these with the lip on the back. These are kind of weird, so. They're opposite on the different sides, but they look pretty much the same, so. I'm not entirely sure if I got this right. It looks like I got it right. Kind of slopes in a different direction on the corners. So, ugh, oh, this is really annoying me. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this with the hole in the middle goes right there and right there. It looks like we're building the front of the car. Um, so we got that. And then this goes right there. And then these slope things that are kind of weird that come from the warthog go right in front of here. And there should be another one. Yep, right here. Come on. Ah, that was difficult to plug on. I don't know why. And uh, that goes around the front here. Like so, I believe. Yes, like that. And then a 2x3 transparent plate. That's also kind of weird. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's in the chat anymore. Oh, yeah, there are. Uh, let's see. You put the lime in the coconut. I'm gonna try and find Red Alert pretty soon. Uh, I hope you block that guy. No, but, you know, what's funny is that two admins came and, and was like, yeah, that's kind of rude. That's kind of disrespectful. Uh, m myself included, I guess, but still, it was kind of disrespectful. And he pretty much called us a bitch. And the funny part about that is, Facebook decided to kick him out. Uh, Facebook was like, yeah, we just reported this comment. Uh, so, yeah, uh, your, your page isn't really affected. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to talk about this, because it is a, a different group, but... Um, like, it, 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 I'm admin to the group, but... Like, I didn't really have a problem with him initially, like, I, I did, I definitely did not agree with what he said whatsoever, because YouTube isn't just about, you know, I, I want to get all the views and all the attention, I want to be the next Jang Bricks, 
it's not always like that. I'm not I'm not anywhere close to having the same view count as Jank Bricks. And that's fine. You know, if I'm going to if I'm always going to strive myself to be you know, the next whoever and I'm never going to be that, then I'm just not going to feel successful, first of all. And second of all, I feel like I'm doing content for all the wrong reasons. You know, it shouldn't just be all about the views. It should be, hey, here's content that I want to make, you know? Here's content that I enjoy doing. It's just a really... I'm sorry, but it's a really bad mindset to have. That I'm on YouTube just for the views and that's it. And everything I do has to be only about the views. And I love the front section of this car. I'm sorry, but YouTube's not all about that. Or not every YouTube channel is all about that, I should say. YouTube might be, but uh, not every YouTuber is. Sometimes we're happy that just 100 people or even 15 people watch our content, you know? I, I, I think people tend to forget about the small guys, you know? Why is this not updating? When I started making vids, it was purely so I'd have a video archive of my builds. Turns out a few people like them and I enjoy making them. Screw fanboys who think they can... Yeah, exactly. I've come across a few... Uh, okay. I want to be the next <laughs> fan page one one. Someone jumped on me when I made uh, the Warhawk collection video. Same as your guy did to you. Now my vid has almost 50k views. Second to Jang, screw the hanger. Yeah. Again, I, I don't need to be the next Jang. I never said I was trying to only get views. But that is such a, a flawed mindset. Also, it was kind of stupid that, like, uh, you know, you have the mods criticizing you, so you call them a bitch. I don't know what you gain from that, calling mods a bitch. Uh, because it's like, okay, we invite you to our group, and you want to, you know, have that attitude. Do you think we want to keep you around? I don't know. I'm mostly speaking for myself. I can't speak for all the other mods. But I, I don't know. You go to a book club, call everyone an asshole. Do you think everyone's going to want to keep you there? Okay, so the spoiler actually sticks out a little bit. Although I kind of like how it was inside the uh, the back section, but eh, that's that's not too bad either. Uh, we're almost done with this, and then we gotta focus on the other big build. Uh, this will go on top here in the middle like so, and then we've got these winged pieces that will go on the sides here like so. There we go. And then, what's next? Okay, so they show the tires now. We're not done, but it does show the tires. And then, what's left to do? We got the mirrors on the side here. I don't know. I I enjoy making content for yourself first, and then, you know, think about the views. It's not like every video on... I'm not trying to get views, because admittedly there are some videos where I'm like, yeah, I, I, I want to do this because it might get some attention, you know. But I'm not going to sell myself out just to do that, you know. If anything, it's going to be news videos, but it's going to be news videos I'm interested in, not news videos, because in general, news gets views. All right, and it even shows that yes, you can swap them out for the uh, for the big cars, which I might do in this. But there is the GT Hunter. So glad that Mega Constructs does not do stickers. Uh, but you can put the figure inside. Maybe supposedly. Come on, there we go. Yes, you can put the minifigure inside. It's kind of hard to get his legs to stay in place. I don't know why. But he does stay in there. You can't close that up. And there we go. Nice smooth tires because of rubber. And uh, of course, 
we gotta do the fun thing. Watch this. Whoa! Yeah, that was whatever. Anyways, okay, so that is the GT Hunter. Pretty cool little car. I really do like it. But we're not done. We gotta do the Tiger Shark. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just a little comparison. It's actually much bigger than the uh, Muscle Bound. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like these. Moving right along. Uh, I did figure out which custom I want to have uh, be in your next World of Customs video. It's Crankcase, because I'm so proud of how it came out, aside from the real lockdown. Do you recommend Hot Wheels builds? I haven't bought one yet. Um, I recommend trying the Bone Shaker, maybe. I don't have the Bone Shaker yet, but the Bone Shaker is one of the more popular cars. Um, and it's the best looking one, I think, so. That is if you don't mind the fact that the front has a custom piece. Um, there is a monster truck uh, version of the Bone Shaker. You could get the small one for about 10 bucks, and it's fine. But what's cool about the large one is you can still swap it out. So... Let me, let me flip this around. So you see the Bone Shaker right here, and you see the Monster Truck Bone Shaker. Well, if you buy the Monster Truck Bone Shaker, you can still swap it out for the smaller one. So if you just want the Bone Shaker by itself, it's about $10. And, you know, that's, that's not too bad. The big one is about $25, but you still get this out of it pretty much just in a different color. And uh, also, it might have the open top, because... For those who don't know, there's two versions of Bone Shaker. One with an open top, and one with a closed top. So, whatever you want to get is up to you. Let's open the monster truck now, shall we? And yes, this package also becomes a track thing. So I'm going to try that too. Let's open this up. And pull out the pieces. Oh, we get a part separator out of this. There's the minifigure. Nice little flame deco on him. And flat instructions this time around. So that's not going to be problematic. I might try and get Bone Shaker next. Uh, oh, and they're numbered bags. Oh my god, those are big tires. You also get the rims or the uh, attachments for that, the axles. Okay, so now that we have the bags of parts out of the way... Let's see if we can figure out the package and how to do that. So it just seems like all you have to do is there should be little tabs on the inside. Or at least they're already... Okay, yeah, I see them. Uh, or at least that's what they look like. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Anyways, so you push these in. It's kind of hard to do, so I'm going to probably do this on off camera. Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. That went in my face. Okay, so basically you push these down, and then you got these little tabs right on the inside here that you open up. It's really hard to see, but you got these little tabs. You Push that down and slide it underneath that. Uh, do the same thing to the other side. So that goes over and under. And then there you have just a section for the monster truck to drive up and down. Uh, really isn't that much of uh, anything. And uh, on the sides here you got these little tabs. I imagine that you just push this down. And then you slide this in. And that will make the side ramps like so. And you can do the same thing to the other side. So you'll be able to drive up your monster truck, have them swoop up and do other things. Uh, you can do this to the other side as well. Which I will do. I'll do this off camera because it's just so much easier. It's really hard to do this with a giant box. 
And of course the instructions fell on the floor. It's fan freaking tastic, Lord. You know what's funny is that that guy told me uh, pretty much that I shouldn't review those older toys. And so I wrote reviews of my Halo Infinite Mystery Packs and their older ones. Anyways, there's the packaging all set up for the car. I'll leave that up like so and slide that in so that we have something of a backdrop. Just for the time being, bag, bag, bag. But what about your neighbors? Can you run over this? Oh, 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 maybe. Oh. All right, so that's bag number three. I'll just leave that there. That's bag number two. This is bag number one. This is the one we opened first. So I think this is just the car. Then the next one is the chassis thing that you can... Okay, a light just went out. There we go. I think I just unplugged it. Yeah, I just unplugged it because it went back on. All right, there's the frame. And then there is the minifigure itself. Oh, I like the teeth on the front of the helmet. That looks nice. Uh, this is the bag with some specialized pieces. Uh, this is the bag with, oh, holy crap, little tiny, tiny round one by ones. Oh yeah, I can move that off to the side. I can also move this off to the side for now, because we won't be needing that for a while. And uh, this is the bigger part. So this is the main car itself. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. Oh, God. And there's another bag. Here are Mega Constructs. We're not wasting plastic. Are you sure about that? And I got the hiccups. There we go. Another bag. Is this entertaining? No! Another bag. Who's ready for Ghostbusters Afterlife? I know I am. I just want the movie to come out because it looks really good. It might not be good, but you know what? I feel like they're trying more so with this than, uh, you know, that one. All right. Punch around one by ones. As well as other various little tiny pieces. That's not scary at all. Gotta make sure that all these pieces are out of the bag because there's a giant orange thing covering this section. So, yeah. All right, so that's all the parts out of the bag. I will be building this, but first... I'll be right back.
Okay. Hello, the domain fan, I forgot to say. Like a balloon pop. Oh no, I'm in the wrong home. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and build a tiger shark. Because that is the most dangerous animal since uh, I peed myself. Oh cool, they even show uh, authentic details, special pieces, compatible with major brands. It's actually kind of interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and build the set. It's funny how they show, oh, you could build a minifigure, but um, I mean, he's done, so, you know, don't really need to do much with him. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and build this. So this brick plate thing will go underneath here, and this brick plate thing will go underneath here. Like so. Okay, we got that. Phew! Should we take a break now? Anyways, uh, let's see. Okay, so this will attach underneath like so. And that will form the wheels, ladies and gentlemen. I will lower the a bit so that you can actually see. What the hell is Brian talking about? Alright, so we will need an orange jumper. And an orange 1x3. Apparently, there's a lot of those in the set. We will need two of those in white. And they will go right here, like so. We will need two side pieces in white. And they will go right here, like so. Maybe. Oh, someone said something. Pop, click, pop. Don't you like the sound of when the mega blocks and mega constructs pop? All right, that goes right there. And then we will need the white one by two to go right here. And then we will need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to need eight of these, which is a lot, and stack them on top of each other. Of course, they went everywhere because I'm stinky fart. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Stinky Fart. Aren't I just mature? Yeah, you know what? Sometimes you just need to be immature. You can't say that word. That's a bad word. Nah. And now we'll need the other six of these. And one white, one by three. So this will go... Right here, like so. And these will form the shocks on the back. There we go. Ah! No do that. That will all go right here, like so. And these will do the exact same thing. I can't wait to see the giant axles for this thing. All right, so two of these, and then two of these. Any interesting movies anyone wants to talk about? I want to watch Nobody, but for some reason I just can't. Every time I start it up, I'm like, eh, how big has Dexter gotten? He's about adult size. Stinky Fart Live. Come check out Stinky, Lo Stinky Fart Fri <laughs> Stinky... Fart live, coming at you live from downtown. It begs the question, are we mature? The answer is no. All right, so we got that. And we'll need some big plates this time around. Oh, big plates. There we go, we've got that. And we have this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to be a long card because it's got the fin. Watch Comic Sin on Netflix. It's uh, not great. Bruce Willis crashed another paycheck on that one. Yeah, that's pretty much Bruce Willis in a nutshell right now, isn't it? Uh, Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. Isn't it Bruce Willis in a movie where they fight aliens or something or they leave Earth and then they get armor, but the armor is from Halo. 
Like, they literally just took uh, Spartan armor that you could probably buy online uh, and, and just modified it to look like some sort of Space Age armor, but they did a horrible job at it. Like, seriously, you could see the Spartan chest, and then the Spartan shoulder is on the back for some reason. Oh, yeah, it is Cosmic Sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know about that movie. I think it's on Amazon. But you have to pay to watch it. And I'm like, do I really want to support a movie that's like, yeah, nobody will find out these are Spartan armor. I mean, I guess they're using that as a prop, but at the same time, it just seems kind of scummy that, oh, you guys didn't really bother making your own armor. I'm going to have to watch that tomorrow. Yeah. I heard good things about the Suicide Squad, but I'm still very hesitant about it. Um, might just be my personal bias on movies, but eh. Alright, orange clips. These are bright orange pieces. Like, holy shit, it's neon. Uh, let's see. I watched Suicide Squad for for Margo. Oh, Margo Robbie, yeah. <laughs> you know, funny you mentioned Margo Robbie. She's producing a film that's being made out here. I think it's for Netflix. But we actually saw... Well, I didn't see that, but... Um, my family went to Walmart, and they saw them filming the movie. And they had one of the cars... Mar Margot Robbie wasn't there. She was just producing it. But uh, they got pissed off at the cab, our cab driver, or their cab driver, I should say, because apparently their lights were too bright. Um, I'm sorry. If you have a problem with uh, people's car lights, then I don't know why... You're filming at a time where everyone's busy. Oh, I'm 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 so sorry that some people's lights are, are a problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. One by one, bricks go right here. There we go. Uh, she's done with Warner Brothers. She thinks the DC movies have no clue, no, no plan. Uh, I think they're getting better with planning, but yeah, I don't. I definitely don't blame her for that if uh, that's what she thinks. But I, I also find it funny that now she thinks that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I messed that up. Okay, so one of these. One by three plates wasn't supposed to get attached there. So I have to take that off. Wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, yeah, we got the part separator. There we go. And there we go. Hey, this set has your favorite piece. Those little side plate things. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we take these kind of cornered bits, and then we attach this over top. And we do something with that. Why does this one feel more complicated than any of the other ones I've done? Uh, of course, I'm not complaining about that, but it just feels complicated. Like, I don't know. Tall woman. <laughs> Likes to die for, yeah. Uh, there is a fly buzzing around, and he is bothering me. I don't know how he got in my house. Oh, it's a moth. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got that. I'm getting a little sleepy, but I will power through. A couple of nice... With a couple of nice personalities. You know what I mean? She's got a cute laugh. Alright, there we go. 
And we attach some of these. And this will go right on the front. Ooh, Brian, she's got a couple of nice personalities. Ah, uh, sure, uh, Legalized weed. Alright, so these are different on both sides, so keep your attention on that. So you'll see on the rim, the shorter side goes on the front. So, you know, you got that. Are we done yet? Okay. You know I'm a professional that loves doing this kind of stuff. When I'm like, are we done yet? I also missed this step, apparently. Uh, oh, this red piece is supposed to go right here. That explains a lot. Okay, so... Oh, and uh, apparently I missed something else. Okay, well, for some reason I missed something else entirely. Yeah, I did. Okay. This is supposed to go right here. And right here. See, I can figure things out for myself. I need a drink of water. There we go. Alright, see ya. I know it's late. It's like 12.50 here, so... Trust me, it's late. In fact, I was debating whether or not to do this video, but I was like, eh, I want to. Alright, and, uh, let's see, we got this br Holy crap, that's a tattoo. Shazam! <laughs> uh, let's see, okay, so that big tile goes right there. And like I said, it's totally fine if you guys want to leave and do your own thing, and, you know, I'll, I'll just be lonely. Uh, let's see. This piece will go right there. That will go right there. And then this triangle piece will go right here. It's 350 for me. Oh, God. What are you people doing? Okay, so we got that. Almost done building the car, though. I will say that. Don't you just love it when you upload a video and someone halfway across the world is like, Oh, it's 3.50, why are you uploading so late? And it's like, it's, it's not that late here, but whatever. I get that all the freaking time, Lois. Oh, there's a one by one, and then there's this piece. Why am I missing steps? Am I just stupid? Uh, let's see, that goes right there. By the way, don't answer the question about if I'm stupid or not. I know the answer. I don't want to hear it. The answer is yes. Alright, so... Go away, Moth. What are you doing? Uh, this will go right here. And then we got these two pieces. One will go here. And... One will go right here. And then, let's see, okay, so, oh, okay. I apologize for that loud noise. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And what else do we have to do? We have to attach these right here. I might be a little more quiet because other people are telling me to be quiet. That's what that message was. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Got that in. Okay. What else do we have to do? I have to attach a windscreen section to the front here like so. And then this will come around here. The stripes don't really line up, so that's a little unfortunate, but whatever. In fact, it almost feels like it's the opposite, so that's kind of strange. Alright, so this tiger stripe will go this way, like so, and for some reason these line up, so that's kind of weird. Alright, so, now we attach the tires. Oh, 
the right way. And what's next? Okay, so we attach the mirrors. And it seems like the fins go a certain way. Oh, because they're printed to one side. Okay, I get it. There we go. And then these are pretty much the same, so it doesn't matter. And there is... Oh, let's attach that again. There is Tiger Shark all built up. Now, this is the basic car form, which looks really cool. I like that. So let me bring out some of the other cars. Ooh, I like that. Pop this up. Have this guy sitting inside, like so. Ah, come on. Get in there! Get in there! Nah, he's fine. So there we go. There's all three of the cars, but we're not done. Not even close. Because we still have to do the big frame. So let's go ahead and get this guy out. And we will leave the car up here. Now we will build that big frame. So, bag number two. Cut, 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 cut. Throw the bag away. Tiny pieces. Uh, live action. Yes, it is being made. There were images that showed the Halo TV series. Uh, this was, uh, this was mentioned for a while. They actually confirmed it. Uh, it's gonna be on, I think it was supposed to be on Showcase, but I think they might have changed that. But regardless, yes, I, I do know about the show. There we go, and that's for the axle frames. I love these pieces. They came from the um, the Halo Jackrabbit. Oh, there we go. And then, last but not least, is this bag, which has more bags inside. My favorite. All right, so we got that, and this one has beams and pins. We have to be very careful about this one. All right, there we go. Now we can build. Okay, so. Is it done yet? <laughs> All right, so we've got this that will go on the sides. And these will be where the axles go into place. It pretty much has the same gimmick as the mongoose, which is pretty cool that they decide to do that. Uh, then this large brick will go in the middle. This will go right in here, like so. And then what will go on the side? Oh, more of these. This should be pretty basic in its construction, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have a 2x2. Two two. Have you seen Wing Finger Tracks, Scorp Knock? Uh, I have not, but they should be coming in from Walmart. For some reason, they just haven't told me anything. Uh, they were supposed to ship by the 23rd or 24th, and they were supposed to be here today. That did not happen. In fact, they have not updated me on anything. They haven't even told me that it's, it's being shipped. They only told me that, oh yeah, it's processing. Is it? Because I haven't seen anything for it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so for these, it just shows you putting these flat on the side, but you want to curve them up a little bit, at least, because they'll be moved up anyways, so, yeah. Because the, the beam's going this way, so that wouldn't have made sense if they weren't, so. Let's see, plug that in. And they're pretty tight, so hopefully I'll be able to turn them if I need to. Ah, okay. There we go. And... 
There we go. You weren't even supposed to put these in just yet, but I did so anyways, because why not? Alrighty then. I'm sorry if this is getting a little more boring, but I'm almost done wrapping this up, so... I just wanted it to be wrapped up. I want to go to bed. I want to sleep. It's been a long day. Also, I'm really warm. Uh, let's see. So we got these that so will go on top of here. And these that so will go on top of here. I thought this was going to be a good idea, but I have to be very quiet now. Uh, I'm hoping to find them at Walmart today. Yeah, good luck. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that goes there. Then this goes there. And I'm just going to attach these now. Just because it will make things easier for later. And I'm trying to line that up with the beam right there. So let's do that to the other side here as well. Oh, yeah, the And that will clip onto there. So you can see the framework. Framework makes the dream work. And that will go into there like so. Have you ever tried looking for a movie for years and then you just couldn't find it on anything and then you finally find it one day just randomly when you're not even thinking about it and you're like, yes, I need to watch this now. There we go. Okay, so I got that done. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to do? We have to attach these to the sides here uh, with the black tie on top. Kind of weird that they're not showing you to attach the bars yet. You'd think you'd have to do that now. There we go. And in fact, it should have had the clips and then on, on on these tubes and then you plug it in. But no, let's not do that. Let's make it really complicated. Uh, let's see. Okay, so these will go right in the middle of these. What's cool about these wheel sections is you can pretty much flip it around and have the exact same result. It doesn't really matter. So you don't have to be picky about it. All right, so we got that, and then these will plug on top of here, like so. And I'm thinking I probably won't combine this with GT Hunter. I'll just leave it alone, because I want to wrap this up. All right, so then these will plug onto the front here, and onto the back. Uh, let's see, where's the good one? Okay, there. Like so. Yeah, I looked for years for a movie called Pet Shop. There you go. And I came across the other day. Yeah. What's a movie I've known about it that I saw? Oh, it was uploaded on YouTube. Was um, the Mandela Effect? It was just randomly uploaded on YouTube. By the way, I think I saw a build video for the set where. These weren't attached to anything. Like, they weren't attached to the one by one. It was just the piece underneath. It's kind of weird. All right, so I got all of that together. I got all those bars together. So it's just these two, and then the big wheels. There we go. There we go. And then, what's next? Yep. Okay, so. We detach these from the frame. Including apparently these pieces, which came off with it. So I have to try to... Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so plug that in there like so. Do the same thing to the other side. There we go. And leave those plugged in. And then this will all connect onto here like something. 
Okay, so we leave it like that. And then we get the third bag. Get off my hand. And we bring the wheels out. Ooh, big and tough wheels. And I probably won't need instructions for this part. Attach the wheels to the axles. These are big, wobbly axles, so be careful on these. There we go. And do the same thing to these ones. Like so. And last but not least... Ah, pop that in. And of course these fins like to come off. And pop that in. And there's the monster truck. Oh, that was exhausting. That was really exhausting. But they have big wheels and they can turn around. That's actually pretty fun. Yeah, I do kind of like this. Huge tires? I mean, look at the comparison. Uh, it, I mean, look at the minifig. Oof. Let's go ahead and plug this guy into here. Come on. I don't know why these are pain in the asses. Pain in the asses. I don't know why I can't get this guy to... Okay, I guess he's in now. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's move this out of the way. And let's check it out with this. Okay, so this drives up to here and goes into here. Oh, I kind of like how the tires moved in that. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that could be fun for a kid. Yeah, that's all right. But uh, you know what? I said I wouldn't. Let's try this out. There we go. Take the wheels off. Take this off the frame. There we go. And now plug this onto the back. And there it is with the big tires. That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, you know, I kind of like that. Yeah, I won't try it with the green one, but I just wanted to see it, you know, it in general. And that came off. There we go. All right, so with that out of the way, I think I'm going to call it a night because it's super late. And I don't want to keep pissing people off. So uh, with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. That is the Hot Wheels GT Hunter and the Tiger Shark Monster Truck. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything. I thank you for watching. I know I said that already, but yeah, whatever. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and all those fun dudes. And we'll see you guys next time.